Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning mar market preparation video for uh, May 18th, 2020. So, hey everyone, I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Kind of a, there was quite a bit of news coming through this weekend on the market, but everything right now this morning is just coming up roses everywhere uh, for those market bulls. So how about we settle into our office chairs here. Let's grab ourselves something to drink and let's get ready for the morning market prep video for Monday. So this morning we have bulls just running, 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 running hard. Right now, as I look at the Dow futures, we're at 450 points in the Dow futures um, everything is uh, unbelievably bullish here this morning. Um, interestingly enough, the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell over the weekend says he expects the GDP to, to decline by as much as 30% and says that um, reopening of the economy is going to be challenging for um, all business as we move forward. But right now, the, the futures just don't seem to care. Um, they don't care at all. They're moving up in, um, in an absolutely huge move, um, apparently fueling up on, you know, the reopening of businesses and things around uh, the country. States all over the place are reopening, even though there are still states that are not going to be uh, reopening California, for example, as I think extended their lockdown for another three months. Pretty interesting situation going on here, but the bulls can't see anything but bullishness this morning, and we're gapping substantially higher. So one of the things I want to point out here this morning is let's party with the bulls as long as they want to continue to do this, but let's not forget the technicals of the chart. So first off, if we take a look at this high right here and this high right here, remember that left us that ugly bearish engulfing candle, that we technically have a downtrend in play. Now, we could gap above that downtrend this morning or we could actually gap right into that downtrend area here this morning, testing it um, at the open. Now, what's going to be interesting is not so much that downtrend. If we can defeat that, that's wonderful. But as we approach these resistance highs again in the chart, that's going to be really interesting to see in light of you know the the comments of the FOMC and and um, kind of the ugly numbers that we've seen in our economic calendar but let's keep an eye on that perhaps we are going to ignore it and push right on through but let's keep an eye on those and remember one of the things we have to be careful of is getting all caught up in the emotion of the morning the fear of missing out and jump right in to that possibility that we hit resistance resistance and actually see a pullback. So there's that possibility that could occur as as you guys know where we gap up in the morning and like we, I call them a pop and drop but gap up here in the morning and maybe even find some sellers. Um, I don't know if that's the case but we want to be very watchful this morning gapping so much to make sure we're actually getting follow through um, on the stocks that we're interested in before jumping into the fray. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY doing the same thing. Now, SPY is a little bit different situation. The SPY, we had a double top high that left us this bearish engulfing candle as we push down. Now, we're pushing right back up here this morning. We're not going to breach all the way through on this gap up open. So as we approach these resistance levels in the chart, let's make note to that that we did have that double top high resistance in there and we could be running back up here to test this resistance zone once again in the charts so keep a close eye on that and be careful not to overly rush into the market this morning let's take a look at the cues now the cues 
Um, obviously, we have just been tremendously bullish here in the tech sector. As a matter of fact, it's the tech sector that's really lifting everything in the market. And really, four companies of the tech sector has been predominantly the lift here in the overall market. And as you can see, we're gapping back up here this morning. We're popping up into some area here where we could test this resistance high of last week. Let's watch that closely as we push up into that level and see if there's well who knows will there be resistance there will there be buyers there couldn't tell you and by the way if I um, I'm gonna grab a line here right here and push this down notice that we will have some resistance right in there that's where we're gapping up to this morning so keep a close eye on that area right there Let's take a look at IWM. IWM is also technically in that downtrend. As you can see, we had that higher low or lower high here in the market. So lower high followed by a lower low technically is a downtrend. And this morning we'll be gapping up into this area maybe to test this downtrend overall. IWM considerably weaker than the rest of the indexes and We'll be trying to regain its 2018 load this morning on this gap up. So let's watch that carefully and realize that we will be gapping into a fairly significant level of price resistance. In fact, I'm going to move this line down to designate that. We're going to um, um, kind of pop up into that potential area if we continue to rally. So watch that closely. So let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX had a nice little uh, pop-up rally last week, but by the end of the week, we gave it back up. And as I've said before, um, if we were to breach that downtrend and happen to hold it as support, that would be the major problem. Now this morning with the massive gap up, I would expect we are going to fail this pop through where we broke through that volatility um, um, downtrend last week so we broke through that but I, I suspect this morning we're going to fail it and maybe even come back down in here and test this level of support right through here as you can see we have quite a little price action support in that area so let's keep an eye on that um we may push right down in there pretty quickly uh this morning and maybe even fail and drop even further if those bulls can continue to find the energy to move higher. Let's take a look at T2122. Now this gives me a little bit of concern this morning. In just you know two days, we popped back, um, that Thursday and Friday, we popped back um, all the way up in here. And now gapping up this morning is likely going to push us into this bearish reversal zone all at once. So the problem we have with this market right now and the challenges that I suspect everyone is dealing with is that we're all we're, we just seem to be all or nothing. We can't seem to get any stability anywhere. We either race down or we race back up with not much in between. Um, and unfortunately, that's leaving these um, big wide ranging chop zones that make it kind of difficult to know what to do here so just keep an eye on that this morning we'll be pushing up here we could easily be topping this out really easily in t2122 now that doesn't mean necessarily that we just drop okay so keep that in mind i'm not trying to suggest uh bearishness here but we will be reaching that area where we could be technically a little bit stretched out here in the short term having rallied so quickly um on virtually nothing um, which is kind of interesting so let's take a look at our economic calendar today and take a look at what may be affecting us um, over the course of this week we've got virtually nothing going on today we have housing market index at 10 o'clock but unlikely to move the market around very much considering the bullishness that we're seeing this morning uh keep in mind we have jerome powell speaking here on uh tuesday as well as housing starts both of those 
have the potential to move us around quite a bit. And then on Wednesday, we have the FOMC minutes. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, probably our biggest um, day this week is going to be when we come over here. We're going to pile them all up on one day. Um, that will probably be our biggest day on the economic calendar. Um, if we take a look at our earnings events today, we have about 120 companies reporting earnings. Going to be kind of a big week for retail um, this week as we as we slide into the end of the week. But later on today, we're going to hear from Baidu. Baidu will be reporting, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. Oh, it looks like they have reported. They're gapping up this morning strongly here. At least I think that uh, must be the report on this. Gapping up this morning, um, it could be just a function of the overall futures pushing up as well. I'm not sure. I haven't seen the report. Um, but let's keep an eye on Baidu. APLE, Hospitality uh, Real Estate Investment Trust, um, will be reporting today. So keep an eye on that. We have BILI as one of the notables that I've pulled out this morning. Uh, that's gapping up this morning as well. Could be a function overall of the futures pump going on. IQ, IQ also gapping up this morning. Uh, moving on up will be breaking its 50-day um, moving average and maybe actually moving up in a pretty decent pattern. If you take a look here, we've got a bit of an inverted head and shoulders pattern here gapping up into this area and defeating its downtrend. So it might be worth keeping an eye on. Um, let's, let's see, um, how about, uh, TRVG, TRVG will be reporting today. Looks like they're gapping up. Um, doubt this is going to really move the market much of anything. And SFTBY is also, um, maybe somewhat notable this morning, um, SoftBank. So keep an eye on those. Now, later on this week, we're going to hit a bunch of retail It'll be interesting to see how the market reacts when we start seeing some of those um, retailers like um, WMT that will be reporting on the 19th here. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. So let's take a look at some stocks that might be setting up. And there's quite a few, to be honest. Lots of stocks out there that are showing really good quality patterns that we should be keeping an eye on. But before we do that, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, folks, the purpose of these videos are not to provide any prediction. I try to avoid all of the hype and just want to look at the technicals of technicals of the charts and see what it means for us going forward. And if you find that helpful, please click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. It helps us continue to grow the channel. And I truly, truly appreciate it. Honestly, very humbled by uh, the comments left on these videos. Thank you very much, guys. You're you are the best. Let's take a look at um, a few charts here. Now, a few charts that I've been looking at like EVER. Let me um, go to what I call a naked chart. EVER, beautiful, beautiful potential setup here. As you can see, great trend. We broke through this resistance here in the chart, and then we have pulled back in a nice little resting consolidation pattern. Let's watch this in here, see if that can't start moving itself on higher. EVER, very nice looking chart. Activision, as you know, I've been keeping an eye on these gaming stocks. And it looks like Activision could trigger or push through uh, my alert here. That pink line is my alert. Um, Activision, very, very strong. Now we do have in this chart, we have to think about resistance above and be paying attention to that. So we do have resistance levels in here. I'm going to place one right about there for maybe the next upside target. And as you can see, holding in here nicely. Now, don't be too surprised if Activision needs that 
um, trend before it really moves up. So don't be too surprised if we continue to slide over here. And even if we do pop up that possibility that may have to come back and test that trend. Uh, Dollar General. Dollar General has been looking really, really good. As you can see, Dollar General broke through resistance, all-time highs here in that chart. And we're moving up smartly here, as you can see. And we have found an area here where we could be matching trend right here in this area. We broke the downtrend, broke through resistance, and we're holding it as support. Let's keep an eye on this. It looks like Dollar General is pushing up this morning, so this may be ready for its next leg higher here. Keep an eye on that chart eBay is another that has been moving up in its trend, consolidating a beautiful tight consolidation in here, holding above some resistance where we broke through. So we've made that a new area of support. And that possibility, we could move up and test the next resistance high in this chart, which happens to be very, very close to all-time highs here in eBay. So keep an eye on that. eBay looking good here this morning. Etsy. Etsy actually popped my alert on Friday, moving on up. They have benefited tremendously from the virus situation. And Etsy looking very strong here. And it looks like it's going to continue to move on higher this morning. So Etsy, very good pattern, something you may want to keep an eye on. Electronic Arts, EA, um, another gaming company. And as you can see, we've been tightening up this wedge in here, this little ascending triangle. So we're just tightening, tightening, and tightening, and tightening, and that possibility that that could pop out of here at any time. What's interesting about this chart is we broke through a major level of resistance, and we've been proving to hold that as support with these rising lows. Keep an eye on it. EA may be ready to pop at any time. How about CRWD? CRWD is a very strong looking chart. Been moving up nicely in a trend. Tried to pop through on Friday. Was not able to get her done and push on through. Maybe the bullishness today will help it push on up. Nice little tight consolidation. So we are want to watch for that next move to the upside here on CRWD. Um, Altria, Altria is still setting up for a potential short, but as you can see this morning, we're gapping up this morning. Even, even these ugly looking patterns are getting bullishness this morning. So as we gap up into this resistance area right in here, we're going to want to watch this to see if resistance um, restricts us and that possibility that this could still set itself up short. However, if it pops on through and proves to hold, we could be reversing everything back up here. So keep an eye on oh, Altria trying to go higher. SQ, very, very strong here in this chart. SQ continues to power through and just continues to pop alerts and move on higher. And as you can see, we're up here in a pretty interesting range where maybe a little bit challenging to trade it. We've broken through this resistance in here, but we've got kind of this choppy range up here that we'll have to keep an eye on. Um, SQ could rally right up into that area, so keep an eye on that chart. Holding up nice and strong though. PayPal has been setting up, it was setting up all last week this morning. It is gapping up this morning, triggering my alert. And as you can see, we gapped up on nice potential uh, or nice earnings report, consolidated that move. And now this morning with the bullishness, we're popping through. Now, one thing I will caution you on is to be careful. It, it is possible we pop through, still pull back into this trend before this takes off. But PayPal looking very, very strong. And you can see all time highs here. PayPal benefiting a lot from COVID and moving up strongly. Take a look at Wayfair. Wayfair has been setting up, but it's starting to slip back just a little bit. As you can see, I've been watching this in here for a potential move higher kind of slipping back on its trend, it is possible we could see this rest a little bit longer. This is a big move in Wayfair, and it wouldn't be all that surprised to see this have to consolidate a little bit more and then maybe resume its trend after a bit more rest, but I still want to keep an eye on that chart.
Hey, if you like biotechs, take a look at REGN. REGN following its trend. Beautiful move up. And if I move this line on down, you can see we've been kind of following in this trend for some time. And we consolidated this move. Notice how the price action was quite volatile in here, moving up, bouncing around. But now how that price action has tightened up nice and tight and that possibility that this could pop out here at any time, maybe today. Pop on up, REGN is one to watch if you like those biotechs. Um, take a look at um, Teva, T-E-V-A. T-E-V-A looking pretty good in here, been holding this trend. It struggled a little bit last week pulling back, but we ended up holding onto this trend. Let's keep an eye in here to see if that can't push on through uh, to the upside, something worth keeping an eye on. Uh, five Below also struggled last week. We pulled back, found that price support, and you can see nice bullish price action here trying to push it back up. Let's keep an eye on that, but we do still have to pay attention and respect the resistance above. It might be a little bit challenging to trade until this pot actually breaks out of there, but keep an eye on Five Below. So lots of charts and really more than you could potentially trade and and they're just they're everywhere right now there's tons and tons of these humana is another that i've been talking about for some time after breaking through this resistance popping on through continuing to look strong um, everywhere you look there's really good potential charts like this they've been locked in consolidations or they've been locked in those ascending wedges but today's bullishness might pull push those right on through so everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits and once again please make sure you click that subscribe button and um, leave a brief comment i thank you very much take care of yourselves be safe and we'll see you all right back here bright and early tuesday morning have a great day everyone